الحمد لله الحمد لله وحده والصلاه والسلام على من لا نبي بعده اما بعد قال الله تعالى في كتابه يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم سعتم يذلهم الله في ظله يوم لا ظل الا ظله شاب نشا في عباده الله الى اخر الحديث الحمد لله قل فيذا نسجد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى في سن صلوات ابونا وبلاد محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ايها brothers and elders in islam i would like to advise myself and those who are present اتقوا الله تعالى حيث ما كنتم في الله سبحانه وتعالى at all times at all moments my dear brothers and elders in islam today we live in a time and age that we as a muslim ummah facing many challenges in protecting in safeguarding in practicing the beautiful deen which was given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which was taught to us by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the world that our predecessors lived the world that we are living the world that our youth will be living or our children will be growing has completely changed not with the change with regard to whatever the sky the earth the moon the sun our media brothers in islam ideologically mentally from an information point of view we are brothers in islam that every era every time things are being continuously changing and the quran is saying inna ma hayatu dunya la'ibu wa lah the world that we are living in reality it is a game it is a play it is a mystery that this world is doing with us my dear brothers in islam i was revealed in the presence of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam over 1400 years ago but we see the impact of the reality to to this day today today the world is defined the definition of modern day is it's a global village that before it was different countries different nation yes today we have from a demarcation point of view our world is divided with different countries but my dear brothers in islam from a information point of view from a ideology point of view we need to understand it is one village today that's why he called it the global village the information technology in its advancement the satellite world in its advancement my dear brothers in islam what happens across the ocean what happens in the western world what happens in other parts of the world the information reaches in split second we need to understand this is the power this strength of information technology today it brings good in the meantime it brings lot of harm when we study 
the information that is shared, it is very simple to understand. Modern design away is introduced in Italy, in France. In strict sense, it reaches this part of the island. My dear brothers in Islam, that's, that's how it is now. We need to understand what are the things that it promotes. Example, modernism, why we discuss. It is very important that we understand today. Then we will understand the importance of the youth of this Ummah today facing the problems and challenges. My dear brothers in Islam, the modernism that is promoted today, even the Pope, Pope says modernism is an act against the root of people, origin, foundation, religion, and etc. You understand, for one stage below, secularism, what is promoted in the world, by whatever method, the others in Islam, a system free from religion and belief, whether it's westernization, let us understand, in today's time, all religions on earth have become opposed against modernism or secularism, the present day thought process ideology. All religions have become opposed against this. From these religions, Defending religion and defending is the most truthful religion which Islam that you and me have brought faith in. My dear brothers in Islam, you can understand why so much of objection against Islam. Only religion stand against all the odds, all these numbers. Is the beautiful Jinul Islam which is with you and me. <laughs> My dear brothers in Islam, the impact is seen in our youth today. Our predecessors lived and they died. They were safe from this, safe from this challenges and problems. We grew up in their company to a higher degree, the grown-up society in our community is protected. It's the youth, the upcoming generation. They are facing the challenge. How to protect my Islam? How to protect my identity as Islam? Today, what is ethical? In the world promoted as unethical, what is, pro what is unethical promoted as ethical? Adultery, sodomy, gay and etc. promoted as ethical to speak about this is ethical. But to speak against these things, to stand against these things, are unethical to obey the system that is promoted in the world today. My dear sisters, brothers and elders in Islam, let us wake up in today's time and age. Let us sit around us. Many a time we have no knowledge about the information technology. It was not so prominent when we were children, when we were growing up, at the time that they are living. Whether it is the son of a farmer, whether it is the son of a fisherman, whether it is the son of a professional, there is no difference in thinking because they all share the same information. By the extension of this information technology, let us see how when we look into our youth, especially, they are facing great challenges. They do not know whom to listen, whom to talk, with whom to go and break out the dialogue, the problems that they are facing. My dear brothers in Islam, we have kept them into a corner. 
in check he had cornered them whether it is a child or a youth a youngster either we consider him to be a child and we grow him so we say he is still growing let him grow so we should not talk to him too much we don't find time to talk as a father as a teacher the times practice the times we do not have time to talk to the child and understand the challenges that he is facing my dear brothers in Islam we all have distance ourselves with this youth and we see the consequences today we see the challenges today when they reach the age of marriage they thought to change about marriage they are thought about the wife to change and they choose their partner they do not know why on the what basis that I should choose my partner in the early days when there was a proposal in the family the father will look into the family of the bride and the bridegroom whether they are people with good ethics look at today they have changed today the choice is made on the look and the color and the shape this is the world that they are struggling and suffering my dear brothers in Islam just to share with you all just to share with you all today two months back I visited South Africa and I visited the counseling process how it is done with the youth with marriages drugs those who are involved in drugs the ulama who does when we were talking the alim who was counseling the youth on pornography he told me a shocking news he's telling do you think that we are only talking to the children the youth he said my people who visit me between the age of 6 to 60 i am counseling them on pornography alhamdulillah may allah save god all of us we are in islam today the information technology nobody is against the information technology but the whole respect technology and etc it should be within our boundary and being but the youth today are suffering we are not listening our program in our masajid are not addressing them directly as a father I am not addressing that youngster facing challenges as a mother she does not understand the problem that youth is facing and as a society we are failing today Islam is in this level to take Islam within ourselves and our children we need to wake up we need to look what, happens, what is happening around us we need to build a close relationship with our children whether as a father as a teacher as a father the relationship and the understanding between the youth and ourselves must strengthen day by day my dear brothers in Islam that the program I was talking they told me ulama and professionals together you spoke of camping I am not promoting camping in Sri Kamasjid they say we took 300 youngsters I asked them what did you do did you do a lot of programs bayan he said simply we took time to talk to them discuss with them come to an understanding because the secularism has brought a barrier between us religion and the youth they are going in this ideology the school the thinking the system what do we think of the secular education what do we think they can learn that we as parents people of Islam people who have to take Islam to the next level should train to protect the identity of Islam they should get close to them they should talk to them my dear brothers they said we only build a relationship in our experience locally we know there are youngsters call us they say Sheikh I am tired of Islam 
ਮੈਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੋਕ ਇਸ ਆਮ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਸਿਸ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੇਕ ਹੋਮ ਕਿ ਕੇ ਕੋਈ ਜਿਸ ਮਾਈ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸਿਟੀ ਵਿਦ ਮਾਈ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਪਲੇਸ਼ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਨੋ ਵਿਚ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਪ੍ਰੈਫਰੈਂਸ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਅ ਮੈਨਰ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਫੋਲ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਆਈ ਹੈ ਫੋਲ ਇਨ ਲਵ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਵੂਮਨ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਆਊਟ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਡਿਸਟੈਂਸ ਕੈਨ ਵੇ ਟੂ ਦੇ ਲੁੱਕ ਫੋਰ ਗਾਈਡਰ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਬਾਈ ਸ਼ੇਕ ਗੂਗਲ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਗੂਗਲ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ they will look for information and it can, it can drive them into galala my dear brothers in islam we need to understand islam promotes education islam promotes being wealthy is nothing wrong islam promotes to be very professional but the identity the ideology of islam should remain in all these levels not Islam will vanish as it vanish in Spain. They were born in the coast. First, roadway lighting system was brought by the Spanish Muslims, subhanallah. When the western world was running in the candles with the church, it is the Islam, Muslim Spain, Islamic Spain promoted good luck. So much of the technology, water system, channeling water, electricity, with that a time came islam went out let us wake up from this very difficult time let us get close to our youth in a small incident i will conclude the dialogue today of my mom my dear brothers in islam a shocking incident to you and me a word bin zubay radiyallahu anhu a youngster how did the sahaba wali who was sultan protected himself keep the relationship going so what bin jubair was the one who hadith in quran the writer of hadith he says i was in a expedition i went out in expedition with rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam i was in a journey with rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam so rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam spent was next to my tent right i came out of my tent i heard few girls or few women are chatting and talking i went back to the tent i put some new clothing i came out i just sat with them chatting talking like the world today whether it's what step or facebook and all the stuff our youth are struggling and suffering they are addicted and the brothers in islam this part is it sallallahu alaihi wasallam came out and he saw sahaba abdullah what are you doing then as usual a young kid behavior he said ya rasulullah my camel lost control and i came out to catch and tie and etc rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said okay look at the approach okay look at the approach oh he Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam subhanallah did not say a word and during the journey whenever he comes in front of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will ask him what happened to your family? Your family is okay? Yumazihuhu He was a youngster so Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made a joke with him He said no ya Rasul your family is okay and he said I rushed to Medina I hid him sir I did not come to the company of Rasul. I couldn't come to the Rasul because I was feeling guilty. I was feeling guilty. Subhanallah. I gave a verse in Islam. Today, I slowly came to the Masjid. I made sure that my Rasulullah do not look at me. I stood in the side of the Masjid. I made Salah. Here Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came out suddenly. And he saw him. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made Salah behind him. But this person told himself, let me expand, extend my salah. This long salah. So Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will go out. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after salah told the young sir, extend your salah. No will. Continue. I am not going to stand from my place. How he approached. He said, hold the messages to fathers, brothers, teachers, ulama, all of us. When he approached in Islam, After Salah, he came, he said, Ya Rasulullah. A lengthy incident. Ya Rasulullah, I did this. I 
told this to escape just give a pause which I am really sorry Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to prove to Allah as the heart of the youngster he says Rahimatullah 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 May Allah have mercy on you May Allah shower his mercy May Allah send his mercy upon you He says from that day I gave up such things in my life He provoked his arm with love and understanding After the death Islam remained Till the day Islam remained till the day Let us use these types of approaches In the understanding of a Jew Be close to them Talk to them Open this barrier They can come and talk to us Whatever problems that they are facing Challenges that they are facing When they live with the authority of other faiths and religions So that we can protect them Guide them Defend Islam Stop with progress And it's not Let the others do Let me start something Let me get a few hundred youngsters To do something beneficial Then we can understand them To protect Islam To the next generation May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Give us the understanding Give us the class Give us the strength To protect and defend this beautiful